Hello and welcome to our data talk. We are here with Erin Hazelcorn. She is a researcher with Experian Data Quality. Erin is a data junkie and I'm super excited to have her with us today. Erin, how's it going? Hi Mike, thanks so much for having me. So uh, can you share with everyone about the work that you do at Experian Data Quality? Yeah, so I I'm, I'm work with Experian Data Quality. I've been here for about uh, seven years. Um, but I handle working with our, our analysts, but I also handle um, our research. So um, data, Experian Data Quality is um, a player in the data quality market, helping business users um, really empower themselves to access information and, and gain insight from data. So a lot of the research that we're doing um, relates to what's going on within data management, how businesses are using data, and how they're able to get more out of information, which is something all of us are interested in today. That's awesome. Well, Aaron, last time I chatted with you, you had just done like this comprehensive report, and you did like tons of interviews with different CMOs. Tell me a little bit about the research you did this time and who you interviewed. Yeah, so we, we had done a, a ton of research before on, on the chief data officer and, and talked with folks then. Um, and now this new study is, is particularly looking at trends in data management. So we talked with people across all different levels. So before, you know, our research was focused mainly on the C-suite. Um, and this time we're looking at people from an admin level up to C-level. Mm. Um, so really anyone that has to do with data and the data management practices within a business, we wanted to know their thoughts. Um, so the research that we just did um, talked to 1,400 people wow. from eight countries around the globe. Um, and we talked to people in all industry sectors, mm. um, in different departments from IT to marketing, sales, operations, you name it. Um, and we did the study in uh, November of last year, um, and we've been talking about it for the past month or so. So we're really excited. Um, definitely some interesting trends going on within data management right now. That's awesome, Aaron. So you went across the industry and literally around the world finding people that are involved in data. So these are people who are like data scientists, data management, like all across the spectrum? All across, and even people like a CMO or somebody that sits in and runs a call center, right? So those people are taking in and using mm. data um, you know, maybe not to the same level as a data scientist, um, but they're certainly using information. And, and I actually heard from uh, Gartner recently that about 50% of purchasing decisions within data management are now happening within a line of business. So, you know, data is not just for the IT organization anymore. You know, data is something being used across the business you, you need a certain level of expertise to get at the information and, and manipulate it, but everybody wants to use data these days. Yeah, I mean, it's fascinating. Just in my role in social media management, I mean, the amount of data that we monitor, I mean, we are just you know tracking so many conversations online, and thankfully we have tools to help us you know analyze and look at this data, but it's kind of overwhelming because there's so much data that we're pulling in, and now it's like, okay, what data is important for the business? You know, when, I, when I'm looking at the social media monitoring tools, I'm trying to figure out, okay, where are the communities, where are the conversations happening that are actually going to be important for the business to be focused on? So it's overwhelming. I wanted to ask you about how, how, are, you, how are you seeing data usage evolving right now? Yeah, so I think it's, it's evolving pretty rapidly, right? So we're talking about more data, more variety of information than we ever have before. Um, and when we look at, no matter like the industry or, or the business, everyone's using data more often in a, in a wider variety of ways. Um, so the data looked at, um, you know, decision-making around um, customer sales, uh, organizational effectiveness, but also business strategy. So the mm. study actually found um, that 84% of businesses uh, think data is now an integral part of forming uh, a business strategy. Um, and that, you know, increased usage really comes from, you know, when we look at customers, we want to interact with them in a meaningful way. You know, we as businesses are realizing that the key to their their hearts as a brand, but then therefore their wallet, um, means that we need to provide an exceptional customer experience. So really the customer is what's driving a, a lot of change in terms of, of data usage. Um, the main reasons we see companies wanting to, you know, learn more about 
uh, their data or to access more insight is directly to find new customers, mm -hmm. to retain customers, and to understand new customer needs. And this also relates to growing the business. Um, and then we even see some things like reducing risk or complying with, with regulations. But we're seeing a broad number of ways that organizations are looking to, to use data. The challenge is that we see that 75% of organizations you know, think inaccurate data is undermining their ability to mm. provide an excellent customer experience. So we're seeing data being used more, but we're seeing this level of inaccuracy that's really preventing businesses from taking it to the next level. Aaron, what are some of the reasons why there is a lot of inaccurate data you know, in your research? I mean, there is so much data coming in, right? Businesses are pulling in tons of data you have structured data, you have all this unstructured data, video, audio, depending on what it is you're, you're analyzing. What are you finding or what are some of the challenges that businesses are having with interpreting this data or analyzing it? Yeah, so, so there's a number of factors um, that are, are keeping people from really the level of insight that they want. And they're internal and external challenges. Um, I think first organizations are dealing with, as you mentioned, you know, a high degree of inaccurate data. Um, you know, we see globally that businesses think about a quarter of their data is inaccurate. So that's wow. consistent globally. Um, that's a really high percentage yeah. um, that, that we're seeing. Um, but I think there's two things to keep in mind around that. So one is that this is a perception around accuracy. So it's not like we went in and we said, OK, give us your data and we're going to go through and profile it to figure out what's accurate and what's not. This is the perception of, of what people think is, is inaccurate. I think that percentage is high in terms of what's actually true, but I think it shows a large degree of distrust in information. If you can't trust mm -hmm. data, how can you gain insight from it? And the second thing to keep in mind is that you know, really not all data is created equal. So there's some information in a database that may not need to have the same degree of accuracy as other components, maybe customer data needs to be more accurate. Um, whereas, you know, metadata around context of information needs to be at a certain level of accuracy, but doesn't have to be a hundred percent. So, so there's different, you know, categories there. But the bottom line is that organizations are dealing with a lot of inaccurate data, and there's a lot of distrust around information. And, and really, these challenges are compounded by the sheer volume uh, of information that we see businesses dealing with today. You know, businesses can't get across their information. A lot of the problems is they're reactive. So we see 65 percent uh, of the businesses that we talk to say they're waiting until they see a particular data quality issue come up mm. in order to fix it. So they're not being proactive in terms of monitoring their data and make sure making sure it's being corrected you know, before a data, you know, inaccuracy hurts the business. You know, since you, you've interviewed so many people across different areas of data management, data science, and really, you know, covering the broad spectrum, what were some of the, the larger challenges that you saw that people had around data? Yeah. So again, as I kind of mentioned, there's a lot of reactive strategies yeah. that we see and, and a lot of it relates to internal challenges around data management. In general, um, the research is showing that organizations um, lack the knowledge or skills around data management um, and really the human resources um, that are required to manage their data properly. Um, so it, it's interesting because in terms of internal challenges, um, you know, a, a whopping 94% of companies say that they experience internal challenges mm. re related to improving their data. Um, and again, so a lot of them are, are resource oriented. So, you know, organizations really need to work on the processes and the human um, element of, of their data staffing in order to make a, a dent in improving their data. So um, how can organizations improve you know, the data that they have, because there is, as you suggested, and in this report, a lot of, um, I guess, distrust with the data, like you mentioned, was it 20, was it 25%? Uh, people, yeah. Uh, that's a high percentage of people that, that are like questioning, you know, the accuracy of their data. So what are some things that organizations can do to help improve 
data accuracy. And I'm also thinking about just somebody who, because I work with data, and when I'm sharing it with leadership, like I'm wondering, okay, are they questioning the data that I'm giving them? What can I do to help improve the accuracy of the data that I'm giving them? Right, that's always in the back of your mind as as a leader who's who's presenting information. Right, is my data accurate? Can I trust it? Um, and how do I get better at that? So um, I think there's there's a lack of knowledge around data and, and what's hurting businesses. So whenever we look at data, um, you know, from an organizational perspective, there's people, there's processes, and there's technology around data management um, to help work with the information that's there today. So at Experian Data Quality, we look at the level of maturity or sophistication of how an organization is dealing with data um, based on four levels. So there's unaware, reactive, proactive, and optimized. So we're seeing actually a, a lot of businesses sitting in that reactive phase. So that means they're actually managing data you know, by the department. They're not looking at it across the business and they're fixing things really you know, as problems arise. And we see a, a much smaller percentage advancing in terms of proactively managing data or even getting to that optimized level where maybe they have a chief data officer, they have data scientists in place. They're really making sure that their data um, is of the highest quality and that they're using it across the business. So, um, you know, we're really seeing a, a wide range in, in terms of, of strategies, um, in terms of what organizations are doing. And I really do think you know, that that people part, what we can do now in terms of improving and getting to that next level is is one around people, but two assessing the data and putting processes in place so that we can we can trust um, the information. And those processes are going to vary um, depending on the business. But a lot of it has to deal with, you know, basic data governance, making sure the information is is monitored and, and checked over time, um, making sure that it's secure. Um, and, and just making sure that information is accurate and human error um, isn't coming into play because that's a, a big challenge when it comes to data. Aaron, are you seeing uh, new data roles emerging acro across, you know, across the globe as, um, as, as more and more companies are wanting to analyze our data better, to get smarter about analyzing data? Are you seeing new data roles popping up? We are. So we're seeing a, a bunch of new roles uh, in terms of, of data. Um, so the hiring really depends on the strategy that organizations are looking to deploy. Um, a lot of the roles are around data analysts. We're seeing a lot of companies, about 28% looking to hire data scientists. Um, the chief data officer is getting bigger. I actually saw an updated um, Gartner statistic um, where they said 90% of companies are going to have a chief data officer in wow. regulated industries by 2019. Oh, wow. Um, so that's not far off. Um, so, you know, we're definitely seeing the rise of, of the chief data officer. We're also seeing, you know, data warehousing folks focused, um, you know, on, on information and hiring their data stewards. Um, so there's a lot of um, various people that businesses are looking to hire right now um, to help them with with this growing data need. That's awesome. Um, so we have the report here for those watching here on Blab. They can download it very simply. Um, and also for those listening to the podcast, you can go to ex.pn slash global data. And that's the place where you can go to download this full report that Aaron worked on. Aaron, what are some final takeaways you want to share for those who are interested in learning more about uh, this report. Yeah, so I think it's it's important to know that you know quality data and having a more um, sophisticated approach to managing information is something that's really important. It's something a lot of businesses are taking seriously and, and investing in. Um, and it's really because those customer relationships are coming into play where we need to know our customer, you know we need to know what's going on within our business so we can make better decisions around how we're operating and, and how efficient we are um, within the business. So you know, we're gonna see businesses continue to put data at the forefront. We're gonna see more centralized data management strategies in terms of making sure, um, you know, for instance, a, a chief data officer is hired and, and there's um, someone there to galvanize data within the business and make sure people are using it. Um, you know, making sure too that 
that organizations not only put processes in place to protect their information um, and to make sure that it's of the highest quality, but also letting business users have access to um, their data. You know, people need data to do their jobs. Um, more departments than ever are hiring analysts to make sure and manipulate information so that they can, when they're going to management to present a business case, you know, they can put something together intelligently mm -hmm. or they can manage and talk to their consumer in a much more personalized fashion. So I think over the next five years, we're going to see data management really evolve um, to cover far more about the customer experience um, and to inform decision making than we've ever seen before. So I think it's definitely an interesting space to watch. Yeah, that's awesome. Aaron, thank you so much for sharing some insights from this report. I want to highly recommend you guys check out this report. You can go to edq.com to learn more about this white paper. You can also, um, if you have any specific questions, you can always contact Aaron. Aaron, how can people get a hold of you? Yeah, feel free to reach out to me uh, on Twitter uh, at Aaron Hazelcorn, um, and I'll, I'll be looking out and feel free to, to shoot me a tweet. Awesome. And if you'd like a direct link to go to this report, you can just type in ex.pn slash global data. Aaron, thank you so much for being part of our chat today. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.